how close are we to the encounter that uh, Carl Sagan wished for? Paul, how close are we? <laughs> Hours, days, weeks, Well, years? if we're talking about intelligent aliens, I suspect we're a very long way away from that. But if we're talking about microbes, for example, on Mars, could be any time. Jack? Again, if we're talking about very simple kinds of life, I think we'll understand more fairly soon about how life could get started, but you have to ask these guys about life out there. Okay, out there. Sarah, what do you yeah, think? Yeah, we'll give the number of 10 years to 40 years, 10 years to 40 years, depending on how common life actually is. Nice. And how will you detect that? Well, we're going on to... On your, like, iPhone, it'll... Well, we're packed. going to talk later, but we're going yep. to build large, complicated space telescopes. Fantastic. And uh, Dimitar, what do you think? I think we'll have microbial life um, in the lab and then uh, detected evidence on other planets um, before I retire. Soon. <laughs> before you retire. All right. <laughs> I'm not planning to retire. But. You're not planning to retire. Right. Well, that gives you a hedge there. Um, let's talk about what it is we would be looking for on the micro level, on the molecular level, um, because we can add up all kinds of ingredients that we can see by spectrographic means, but uh, the initial conditions for life are still a mystery. That's right. So we have all these planets, right? We'd all like to think that there's life there, but we don't know really what the chances are that any one planet might give rise to life. So we're trying, what we're trying to do is just go into the lab, do really simple experiments and try to reconstruct a, a pathway um, if not the pathway by which life got started on our planet. And, and if we can show that there's, there's a simple pathway and all the steps are easy, that would make it look like it was very easy for life to get started from simple chemistry. That would, I think, really encourage us all to look harder at, at exoplanets. Is it possible that we could have cheated? You raised your hand earlier that right. it's possible that uh, life forms from another place have already encountered Earth and that in some sense we might be the product of it. Right, so there's a very natural mechanism for the transport of microorganisms from one planet to another that are near neighbors, and uh, Earth and Mars are the obvious examples, that these planets from time to time take a hit from a comet or an asteroid with enough force to blast rocks around the solar system. And we now know that microbes can live inside rocks and cocooned in a rock could survive the harsh conditions of outer space for certainly thousands, maybe millions of years, long enough to make it to the other planet. And although it's a, a sort of hairy ride, nevertheless, some of them are going to survive and be viable. So I think uh, once you get life on either Earth or Mars, you're going to very soon get it on the other one. And we know Mars was warm and wet three and a half billion years ago when we know there was life on Earth. So this uh, uh, traffic of, of rocks back and forth between these two planets almost inevitably means there would be uh, an intermingling. Now what we'd really like to know is not is there life on Mars or was there life on Mars. We might go to Mars, we might spend a lot of money, drill down, find life, and it's good old Earth life. It's the same as us, which either means it got there from here or, or we got here from there that we're all descended from Martians. Entirely likely, in my view, that it could be that scenario. What we really like is a second sample of life. We'd like to know, we'd like to answer the question that Jack raised, just how likely is it that life will form from non-life? At the moment, we've only got one sample. Uh, and so it's impossible to say on the basis of that, whether it's a bizarre freak event, unique in the observable universe, or whether it's something that will happen on almost any Earth-like planet. We don't know, but just one other microbe that is not Earth life. It's got to be sufficiently biochemically different that it could not have a common origin. So what we'd really like is to find that. We'd like to go to Mars, find a little Martian, and look at it and study it and say there's no way that that could be related to life on Earth. For example, it might be the mirror image. The molecules might be all around the other way. That would be What does uh, that mean? Pretty. Well, um, all of your, pretty much all of your amino acids are left-handed and your sugars are right-handed, uh, and that all known life on Earth shares this common chirality, as we call it. So in a but mirror... But there's no particular reason why it couldn't be The laws of physics don't care left over right. So if you do the whole great experiment again, you can have it around the other way next time. So if you found a planet with life on it that had reverse chirality, even if it's the same basic building blocks, then it would be very hard to see how there could be a common origin.